Ham Tech, welcome back to the channel. We're on my Mac Pro Book 13 and we're going to install Open Legacy Patcher. This is the late 2011 model. We've updated to the latest iOS, which is 10.7, I believe, but we want 15, which is what we're going to get if we add Sequoia losing Open Legacy. And yes, I've added Google Chrome. You pretty much need to go to Open Core in Google Chrome to make sure you can eventually get to this page here. So what you do is click GitHub here and you'll get to this. And actually, first of all, you'll get to, let's just show you this page, then scroll down, click latest, and then you get to this. And then you scroll down again with the down arrow. And we want the third one in our in the list of assets this one here and it's going to start downloading and once you've got that we can move to the next stage I have plugged in already a 500 GB um, stick here the minimum required is 16 so I just grab what I've got I know it works I've used it before and really I think if you've got an older uh, Mac Pro whether uh, the other one I did the other day was 2015 this is 2011. It's an absolute must, really, uh, to upgrade to this, to add an SSD drive. In these ones, you can do that. So you want at least, I would say, 500 GB and some and some RAM. You know, we're going to put 16 GB in this. The back of these just, there's about 10 screws. Take them off, pop in your SSD and your, and your RAM, 16 GB, a couple of sticks of 8 GB. And it's going to be so much faster. And you can buy these for 50 quid now. And, and they are beautiful, beautiful looking 13 inch laptops. And if you know, as long as it's not heavy use, you're just doing the usual that we do every day, emails and YouTube and social media, shopping, that kind of thing. Um, watching movies, this, this very high quality, high spec at the time, laptop is going to, you're going to be very pleased with it for 50 quid. And the other thing for me, from a UK point of view, I, I'm enjoying using the, the, you know, the iMac experience rather than the usual Windows that I use all the time. OK, so we've downloaded the patcher. So now we know it's downloaded. We'll go to our finder. And we should find open core patch. Go to downloads. And there's our patcher there just at the top. I'm going to double click. Like so. And this appears. I'm just going to go continue. And let's just check where we install this. It talks about space, but I'm just going to go install. Give, put my password in and hit enter. Like so. And we're at this window. That was quick for an old hard drive. Uh, it is 500 GB. Right, we're going to put keep. So now we're going to go to our launch pad and look for it. There it is there. Double click open core patcher. A beautiful screen on these for such an old screen. You get this new window up here. This is a bit that does take time. Create Mac installer. Download Mac installer. It finds the one you can choose what you want to install. And I'm going to install Sequoia because it's going to get me up to iOS 15.4. And but obviously you choose the one you want. Because uh, it's older beta versions, so I'm curious to know what I would see. Hmm. Sequoia 15. They look the same. I don't see the difference there. The date. I'm going to go for the newer date one. 15.4. <laughs> Download. I mean, it updates every day anyway. So hopefully, you know, half an hour, I would say. I found that we're using the better, more modern stick rather than an old USB stick. It, it went in quicker. But I didn't tell it to go to that stick. So anyway, let's just follow the instructions. Uh, back soon. Right, that's loaded and now it's extracting. Now, of course, if you do any of this, make sure you have backed up your computer before you do anything. And then we're going to click yes. 
So that's fetching local Mac installers. And I'm just gonna click that. And then it, that mobile star is my external drive. Click yes. Just gonna click yes here. And let it install. It is quite slow on mine, but just be patient. Okay, it came to life. It took a while, but it did. Uh, I'm not gonna back it up now. You get that choice. I'm just gonna put decide later. So now we have to wait for the installer to load. We are getting there. Okay, successfully created Mac installer. Would you like to continue and install OpenCore? I'm gonna go yes. And then it builds it. Very clever. I'll select install to disk. It says fetching. And now this is where we decide to install it to the external drive or the internal drive. I did a bit faster. I chose the internal one and then you just click like so. And it's now going to install it on a completely external drive that I can boot from with this computer. Uh, and then it says there reboot. And we do have to hold our finger on the option key just here when it reboots just there sorry it's not that clear when it reboots so now we're going to shut it down start and then shut down let's shut down completely when it is we're going to press start and hold the option button okay like so yeah. Keep your finger on it. There you are, and we're going to choose to install with the right and left arrows from the EFI boot and click enter. And then we want to install secure, enter. Give that a minute. You can see just installing that. You get this and we'll go down to the install Mac OS Sequoia and then continue. Continue again. You have to agree the term. Sorry, it's bad image. And we wanted to put it on to I'm going to put it in the actual, uh, it won't let me put it in there, so it's going to have to go on the external one, but that's fine because we can clone it over. So click continue. And then we have to wait for it to do it. And because it's not an SSD, and I, like I said, I've got one of those clone machines. You literally just pop in your hard drive from the, from the laptop pop the SSD you've just bought for 30, 40 pounds in the UK, and then just hold down the clone button and it will clone the Mac Secure that we've just done on the on this laptop um, and then it will boot up in seconds. And then while you're there, you may as well upgrade the RAM and add some RAM. So it's now gone into reboot mode. We'll probably have to tell it to reboot from that drive because it's not in the actual computer, is it? Just by holding down the option again, and then to, you know, when it's booting up. Okay, it now says create Mac installer. We're gonna go yes. And then it says install Mac Sequoia. I'm gonna click yes. And then where we're gonna put it onto our stick that's plugged in, which is called Mobile D Star. So we're gonna click that. And then we're gonna go yes, because it does delete everything on there. So now we have to wait until that happens. Okay, well it's moved on to creating installer. So let's just wait. Okay, we're getting there. You get this pop-up, successfully created the Mac installer. Click yes, and then it builds what's needed. Install to disk, and we're gonna tell it to install to. So now I'd click 
that my external drive and then click EFI 209.7 and then we've got to wait for that. It will put it on our external drive and then it's going to ask us to reboot. So we're now going to click reboot, restart and we're going to hold our finger on the option key which is this one. Keep our finger on it and let it reboot. get the choice when it comes on and we're going to choose EFI so we'll go across and go EFI and click return it will boot to that and then we want to go across again install Mac okay like so so give that a minute so then you've got to wait for the wait for it to download effectively it's going to boot from our this is the device I'm using our external drive here and then when it boots up, it's going to give us the choice to then inst it's going to say to us, look, you're, you've booted off an external drive. And you can tell when it's an external drive because you have like a yellow or gold square on your desktop, which is the external drive. When it's the internal drive, it's like a, a silver gray color. Uh, so you can tell the difference. So at this point, you get a choice. You can install a, a clean copy by going to Disk Utility Erasing, then Installing, which is recommended. But I've, my my version's very clean. It's hardly there's hardly anything on it. So I'm going to go to Install, and it will keep my settings. And then we're going to hit Continue. Then you get to this window. We're going to hit Continue again. So now we go Agree. And then we're going to select the disk where you want to install Mac OS. So I'm now going to tell it to install it just here, uh, which is my, my, my hard drive inside. I'm going to click that and go continue. Like so. And then let it do its thing. So it says one hour, but we've added an SSD, so it should only be about 25 minutes. Okay, password in. We now have the Sequoia window. As you can see, we now have Sequoia 15.4. Very nice. Already gone into asking us to update, and we will, the new OpenCore Legacy Patcher. Thanks for watching. Bye for now. And then the final thing, once it's been running for a couple of minutes, is install to disk. And this is where it will install it on the hard drive inside. So this time we're going to click the terabyte that we've got inside this device and let it do it and we can now boot up from the laptop inner hard drive.